everybody, Liz here and welcome to my channel or welcome back. And today I want to talk about a new romance novel that has been going around Twitter and I'm so glad that I picked up on the hype because the hype is so real. And that is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Hong. I'm so sorry if I miss said your name because I'm pretty sure that I did. So The Kiss Quotient is a book that's been kind of going around. It is actually a new release. Um, a lot of the bloggers that I've been following have been talking about this amazing story. So I decided I was gonna follow the hype and I picked it up at Barnes & Noble and oh my gods, it was worth all the hype. Like I said, it was so, so good. So, The Kiss Quotient is an own voices um, book for autism rep. We have our main character, Stella, who has, I think it's, I mentioned um, Asperger's, but it's, um, she falls on the um, autism spectrum. And we have Michael, who is a um, biracial uh, man, so he is He's Swedish a and Vietnamese. And so we have this book that has one of my favorite tropes in the history of ever and I have dubbed it the teach me trope where one character teaches the other character about the magic of sexy times. So the quiz question, I keep saying that wrong, I obviously cannot speak, the kiss quotient follows Stella who is a 30 year old, um, she does like math stuff, she does like algorithms, I don't know, you know like when you search on like Amazon and then it tells you, oh if you like this you might like this, like she does all that and she's super rich and she see, thinks herself as awkward and she can't get a significant other and so she thinks she's bad at sex and thus she solicits our lovely Michael who is the most perfect, amazing man that doesn't exist. So let me see if it has the back. So he's, I never, I have a really, okay, so this is recommended to me, so I didn't actually read the back of it. So let's see what the back has to say. So it says, Stella Lane comes up with an algorithm to predict customer purchases. Well, Elizabeth, maybe you should have read the back before you started this video. <laughs> Um, a job that has given her more money than she knows what to do with and way less experience in the dating department than the average 30 year old. Yeah, I really should have read the back. Um, it doesn't help that Stella has Asperger's or that French kissing reminds her, reminds her of sharks getting its teeth cleaned by pilot fish. By the way, this is such a funny thing. I had to look it up because I didn't know exactly what she meant. Her conclusion, she needs lots of practice with a professional, which is why she hired escort Michael Fun and he is <laughs> Michael <laughs> with the looks of a K-drama star and the material the material the martial arts moves to match the vietnamese swedish stunner can't afford to turn down turn down stella's offer i can't speak english um but yeah so basically everything i just told you and i could have just summarized the back but i didn't read the back because everybody had been talking about it and i just picked it up and i was dove straight into it i didn't think about it and so basically the case question is super good it's only it's actually fairly short which is really sad um really sad and really good for me because i I, I, was, I was getting anxious because they weren't kissing. Um, so this book is 314 pages long. It is an adult, obviously, contemporary uh, story. And it is so cute. Michael is like the perfect man. It is adorable. It is just so consensual and so great. And the emotional stuff really hits you. And it was just so darn cute. Obviously, I am giving it a 5 out of 5 probably like a 10 out of 5. They gave us Michael who apparently looks like the K-drama actor Michael Henny. LOL at me. I said Michael Henny. So obviously I meant Daniel because I just, I, I'm, there's something wrong with me. So yeah, anyways, let's go back to I that. I looked him up and God, he's so attractive. So I, of course, watched Seducing Mr. Perfect because he comes out in it and I, I'm slightly obsessed and apparently Michael looks even hotter than that so that just <laughs> he's so hot like that's just that's just it so Michael is just great so anyways yeah this is a new release the kiss quotient you guys should go pick it up it's great amazing perfect it's just go it's so cute it's so 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 cute so let me just finish reading the back of the synopsis because I suck um so the next one is okay 
Uh, and when she comes up with the lesson plan, he proves willing to help her check off all the boxes, from foreplay to more than missionary positions. Before long, Stella not only learns to appreciate his kisses, but to crave all of the other things he's making her feel. Their no-nonsense partnership starts making a strange kind of sense, and the pattern that emerges will convince Stella that love is the best kind of magic. <laughs> Basically, this is super cute. Um... I've said it like probably five times already. Super cute. I definitely recommend it. It is a light read. It's fluffy. It does have its emotional moments where like you really feel the emotional impact of some of the scenes that go on where like I wanted to tear up at one part. I think it's towards the end. And it was, it, it just, it hits you in the feels and Michael is just great and Stella is awesome and Michael's family is just great and it's just, it's so cute. It's so, it's so cute, and I definitely recommend you go check it out, and you fall in love with Michael just the way me and a bunch of my, you know, friends on Twitter have fallen in love with him. So yeah, I'm excited to read the next book in, I think it's a, like a, like a series? Let me double check that because I don't know anything. But okay, I don't know if it's a series, but I know that Ellen is coming out with another book soon or recently or she discussed it, and I'm super excited about that. Another interjection, the book that is coming out by Helen next year is called The Bride Test, so 2019, which is something I'm going to be looking forward to as well, but obviously past Liz, literally 15 minutes ago Liz, didn't, wasn't thinking, so here we are, and anyways, yeah, back to that again because I suck, but yes, The Kiss Quotient, super cute read, definitely recommend check it out, it is um, an adult like romance that has explicit sexual scenes so if that's not something that you're comfortable with I wouldn't recommend this so yeah other than that I mean this book is great I I love it I 100% recommend like I said five out of five and I hope you guys check it out or and if you have read it let me know what your favorite part is down in the comments down below I would love love to hear from you guys so yeah, that is all for me today. I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, and night whenever you happen to be watching this, and happy readings. Adios!